and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an exciting one. I have teamed up with an Asian online skincare company called Stylebana and I love Korean skincare. I don't get the chance to try it out very often just because it's not as readily available in the UK I guess, like sometimes TK Maxx and stuff sell it, but then I discovered Stylebana and they sell so much Korean skincare, including the most popular brands like 3CE and Fraudia, I think it's pronounced, which are ones that I had already heard of, um, but they're just like a few of the most popular ones that they sell. And they have very kindly sent me a little care package. There's some really good stuff in here. I spent the morning trying it out and filming clips for later on in this video, but I thought now would be a good time to do a skincare video because the UK is currently back in their second lockdown and I find that when I was in my last lockdown it actually gave me so much more time to focus on my skincare routine because I normally work quite a lot and admittedly I will just take my makeup off and go straight to bed like I'm normally just like too lazy and tired to do a full skincare routine so one good thing to come out of lockdown is that I can finally focus on my skincare routine properly because my skin when I don't take care of it fortunately I don't really get any spots but it does get quite textured. Like I don't know if the camera will pick it up from this distance, but it does like get quite textured on my forehead and on my chin. So that's why I thought now would be a good time to do a skincare video because for a lot of people, their skin gets worse during lockdown or like I said, it just gives them the extra time to focus on the skincare during lockdown. But starting with the cleanser. Now I tried this out this morning and it is so nice. It immediately reminds me of like a lush cleansing balm that I have and this is the All Clean Cleansing Balm by Hemish, I think if I'm pronouncing that correctly. This is obviously a, a Korean skincare brand, they all are, and this is a spa cleanser with natural aroma oil and it literally does smell like a spa, which is one of the things I really like about it. Um, natural vegetable ingredients included for deep cleansing. But it says use the spatula, which is included on the top of the lid, to scoop a small amount and massage balm over dry skin and add a splash of tepid water to turn this cleanser into a milky fluid and continue massaging and then rinse with water. So it also says that it functions as a lip and eye makeup remover. I read somewhere that it was really good for getting like a full face of makeup off. So the reason that I do have a full face of makeup on now is because I'm gonna, after this video, try and see how good it is at actually removing makeup because I normally use my Lizelle cleanser just to take my makeup off, like cleansing and removing makeup in one step. Um, probably not the healthiest, but that's just what I do. So after I filmed, I'm gonna see how good it is at removing makeup and probably put it in the clip like here. But it smells lovely. It's such a nice texture as well, like it's, it's oily but like a good oily if that makes any sense and it smells exactly like a spa but yeah so that's really really good stuff i'm 100 percent going to continue to use that i think a lot of these products i am going to work into my everyday routine because there are just so many really really nice ones and then next up we have this vitamin c spf and spf is very important actually i recently discovered that even when it's cloudy like it is today and when you're wearing makeup the like uv rays can still get through the makeup and through the clouds um and uv rays really are not very good for your skin it can cause wrinkles later on in life so this is something that i will definitely be using like every day as a primer i think or i think you can use it underneath the primer because the primer i'm using at the moment is like a spray on one so it's like really easy to use and this is a spf 50 plus and it's got PA rating of four, which is really good. So yeah, this is pretty much an essential. I know that one of the YouTubers that I enjoy watching is Soph Just Nails, or I think she's now called Soph, always uses an SPF, and it's something that I've been meaning to do, but haven't picked one up. So I'm definitely going to be using this every day. Um, because it has vitamin C in it, it should also help to brighten the skin tone and also even it out, which is ideal. Who doesn't want that? And then next up we have a Time Is Running Out Mist, which is very, very appropriate for me. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of time normally if I'm working to do skincare. So this one is actually a toner, mist and serum in one, which is honestly ideal. I can see me using this so often just because I don't always have the energy to do a full skincare routine in the evening. Like I said, most of the time I just want to take my makeup off and go to bed. So this can just be like for those days but when I don't want to do a full skincare routine, but my skin, when I do take makeup off, it does feel quite dry. So this is perfect for that. 
and it's like an oil water solution so obviously you need to shake it to get it to mix together and I always really like these because I think they're really satisfying to just shake up. I think this is by a brand called Soiris. I'm probably butchering all of these names but it's spelled S-I-O-R-I-S and this one again smells like a spa which is perfect it smells really really good and the benefits of this one are to hydrate your skin which is like i said perfect for when you've just cleansed don't want to do a full skincare routine before bed but need something on your skin to stop it from feeling so dry um so again a really really essential product and then next up something i was very pleased to receive because one of the main skincare problems i have I think it's a skincare problem um is i get like really bad dark circles under my eyes and generally there's not a lot you can always do about dark circles like there's i don't think you can get rid of them fully but there are definitely things you can do to reduce their appearance so for example hydrogel eye patches are normally a thing to really help with that i did have the pixie beauty ones and they did do something for me to be fair they were quite good but I have been sent these black pearl and gold hydrogel eye patches, which sound very interesting. And they look very bougie, the packaging is lovely. Like comes in a very nice box, um, even comes with like a little spatula in the bottom of the box, which I think is a really nice touch. And these ones basically, like a lot of eye patches are made to reduce the appearance of dark circles. Although on the box of these, it also says uh, you can use on skin such as forehead, and laugh lines so it sounds like they would help with wrinkles and i do often get like wrinkles here it's mainly because when i'm doing my makeup my eyebrows are raised like the whole time so sometimes i do like get sunken forehead lines so i might give that a go actually so while i'm in lockdown i'm definitely gonna work all of these into a skincare routine i'll cleanse with the balm vitamin c sun lotion i will probably just use after i've done my makeup during the day um the mist i'll do after the balm and after i've done these oh my god i've just got that everywhere okay so these are obviously in a solution so i can't actually tip them up um i don't know how to show the camera but basically everyone knows what eye patches look like but these are black eye patches with little gold glitters on which i think look really pretty again these smell very skincare-y spa-ish if that makes any sense at all and then lastly i had a face mask but i had already used it i forgot that i would have to show it in the video um because this morning i filmed like the overlay clip for it so i have already used the face mask but i did film me using it um so i don't have it to show you now but there is obviously footage of it used that this morning was really really lovely and actually when i applied my makeup this morning it applied so much more nicer i think because i had actually done something to my skin this morning so i had like a really chill morning with this face mask and it was actually i think kind of halloween themed it was um like a skull face mask it was really cool and that was just like your average face mask put it on for 15 minutes take it off rub the serum in it was really really nice it was actually a black rice mask which i'd never used before i'd used a charcoal one before but they can be quite messy so yeah this one felt really really nice um hopefully the footage is playing right now i never really have a plan for my video i kind of just wing it but yeah so i used that this morning it was really good but yeah that is everything for my korean skincare haul i thoroughly enjoyed using all of these products and this is basically my new skincare routine like all of these products are so nice i know that korean skincare has a reputation for just having good skincare in general and these definitely did not disappoint i really did like all of them but yeah that is everything from me today if you did want to find out more about any of these products then please do feel free to click on the links in the description again thank you so much for starbana for sending me this lovely package i absolutely loved everything in it and i can't wait to continue using them so that is everything from me today hopefully you did enjoy if you did please feel free to like comment and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye